Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today I'm going to talk to you about P-Touch Editor and how to use it with the new QL 800 series to print red and black labels. So here we'll open up P-Touch Editor and then as we come in we've already selected the Brother QL 800 printer. We have predefined templates that are available here. You will see that uh, some of them here for signage allows templates for red and black printing so you can just pick any one of these to start out with. This will automatically put the label into P-Touch Editor and then basically from this part you can modify it any way that you want if you want to change the text you can do that or we can just simply print out a label by clicking the print button and then out comes your label using red and black. Next we'll show you how to create a label from scratch to make this type of label a danger label signage here. So we'll go in and we'll just go to file and click new and then we're going to click on new layout to get a blank layout for the label. Then we have our new layout here the first thing we're going to do since we want a red and black label is to come over here and click switch to print color media. We will click that and it'll tell us that it's setting it for two color. And then we will have the color wheel over here to be able to select for our different text outlines and fill colors. So the first part we'll do of this label is to create the black box. We will take that and we will draw the box here. Then we will click on the outline to change it to black. And then we want to fill this in so we will right click with our mouse and click on properties. And then in, in, in the fill type we're going to click pattern. And then on the form side we will select the solid color here. And that will fill it in in black. The next part that we're going to do is make for where the danger word is going to appear. We'll make an ellipse here. And then we will right click on it again. Get to properties. We will click on the pattern and we'll click on the solid color again so that gets filled in. Then at this point we'll change the fill color, which is this menu here, to red. And then the outline has a white outline around it, so we will click on white. We will click again on properties just to make that a little bit heavier weight, 1.5, and then click OK. And then we will move this up into the black area here. and now we have the start of our part. The next part we'll do the word danger. So here we'll make the, we'll click on the text and then we'll type the word danger in. And then we will highlight this and we will change it to white. So we click on the set color and we'll change that to white. And then we'll take this and we'll move it into the red area here. I'll make it a little bit smaller so that it fits. You can also use the arrow keys to then move the danger into the center. And there we have that. Then we will click on the text again to add the do not enter part. line, enter, and we'll basically move this over here, like that, and then we will add again to make the circle, we have the circle here, we'll come over here and change the outline to red, and then we are going to right click again to 
to get the properties to make the weight a little bit bigger. So we'll select the weight, make that three points, and then now we have our circle. And then we'll come up here to the line tool, pick that, and we will draw a line across to make the do not enter symbol. Again, we'll right click, click on the arrow for selecting. Right click, we'll click on properties, and we'll set that to the same weight of three points. And then we have that. So the next thing, the last thing we gotta do is add the little person to this. We'll click on insert. So in P Touch Editor, we have the ability for symbols and clip art. We'll click on symbol, and we see under the P Touch symbols, we have the little person here. We'll click on that, insert them in, make them oops, a little bigger. We'll go and change the fill color to black. And we'll make them a little bit smaller to fit into the circle. click here and we click on order we send to the back and then the red line will come in front of him as well so then lastly we just have to create a frame around the person so we'll go to insert frame and we can pick the round corner frame and that will draw that around there we'll just change that to black and then we have a similar uh, close representation of the label that we've made here and then lastly all you have to do is then click the print button and it will send this to the printer and print out our newly created label just like that we hope you found this video informative. For more information, visit us at brother.com. Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today I'm going to talk to you about P-Touch Editor and how to use it with the new QL 800 series to print red and black labels. So here we'll open up P-Touch Editor and then as we come in, we already selected the Brother QL 800 printer. We have predefined templates that are available here. You will see that uh, some of them here for signage allows templates for red and black printing. So you can just pick any one of these to start out with. This will automatically put the label into P-Touch Editor. And then